All right, this video is to talk about the last way to determine type of elasticity. In the last video, I explained how to use the total revenue test. That's good for when you actually have a graph or when you actually have numbers. But what if you don't have any numbers? Well, then you're gonna use what we call the total, uh, the three questions test. Now this is number two because the number one was the total revenue test. So the three questions test is actually really easy. It's literally three questions. Uh, they're all going to be uh, very um, personally interpretive, let's put it that way, uh, to be able to determine if you're just given a random item, is it elastic or inelastic? Now these tests, the three questions test is not gonna help you determine unit elastic simply because nothing is always unit elastic, okay? So best if we give an example. So the first question is, is the item a necessity or a luxury? Do I need it? Or do I just want it? Okay. So for example, if you think about something that is, if we're talking about something that you need, okay, so we're talking about something that you absolutely positively need. Uh, for example, uh, if we're talking about somebody who is a diabetic, somebody who's diabetic, and so they need insulin. If they need insulin, do you suppose that they are going to be sensitive to a change in price? So they're going to care what happens to the price and they're going to, you know, price check around or are they gonna be insensitive to a change in price? And it's gonna be something that they really, it's gonna be something they're gonna buy no matter what. Well, hopefully you answered that if it's a necessity, then they're not gonna be sensitive to a change in price. Meaning, not sensitive, means inelastic. However, if it's a luxury item, for example, if we're just gonna go and, hey, uh, you know what, I'm, I'm feeling like I wanna go out to eat tonight. Well, luxury items are gonna be elastic. It kind of depends upon what price I'm talking about, okay? How much money do I have? Luxury items are going to be elastic, and necessity items are going to be inelastic. Because those luxury items that I don't need, I can maybe wait for. Maybe uh, it's a little expensive right now. Maybe I just don't have a whole lot of money right now, okay? Although if it's a necessity item, like, for example, insulin, I have to buy it. Second question, are there good substitutes available? So are there other items that are going to fulfill the same purpose? So for example, if we're talking about, let's say I'm talking about buying a new TV, are there lots of different TV options or even lots of different stores or places I could go to buy a new TV? Well, yeah, okay, so does that mean that I'm gonna be sensitive to a change in price or not sensitive to a change in price? Yes, I'm gonna be sensitive which means that if there are good substitutes available, then it's gonna be inelastic or elastic. If there are no substitutes available, so this is the only thing that will serve that purpose, then it will be inelastic. All right, third question. Does this item use a large portion of my income? Is it a really expensive item or is it something really cheap? So for example, if we're talking about cars, cars are really expensive. They take up a lot of your income, right? So do you suppose I'm gonna be sensitive to a change in price, so I'm gonna price check around, or not sensitive where I'm gonna buy it no matter what? Hopefully you said that you're gonna be sensitive. So if that's the case, then you're if the answer is yes, then you're going to, it's gonna be elastic. If the answer is no, then it's inelastic, meaning that I'm not gonna really care because it's so cheap. Those are things like, for example, when you go to the dollar store and you end up walking out with a whole bunch more than what you intended because, hey, it's a buck, who cares, right? Now, the three questions test, the way it works is it's a best two out of three deal. So if two out of the three questions are telling you it's elastic, it's elastic. If two out of three are telling you it's inelastic, it's inelastic. So let's try. Uh, let's look at, for example, this lovely sports car here. So this sports car here, is it a luxury or a necessity? Obviously, it's a luxury. No, it's not a necessity. Are there good substitutes available? Well, heck yeah. I can talk about other types of car or public transportation. Yeah, there's, there's uh, good substitutes. Does it use large portion of my income? Yes, most definitely. So three, all three of them are telling me this is elastic. What about desserts? These uh, lovely desserts here that look like, I don't even know, churros maybe and brownies, ice cream, Cool Whip, I don't know. Uh, but here's the point. Is it a luxury or a necessity? Luxury, I don't need dessert. Probably my waistline doesn't need dessert. Are there good substitutes available? Are there other places I could go to get dessert or other kinds of desserts? Yes. 
Does it use a large portion of my income? No, it's pretty cheap, right? So two out of the three are telling me it's elastic. All right, what about prescription medication? What if you're somebody that actually needs prescription medication? Is it a necessity or a luxury? Definitely a necessity if you need it. Are there good substitutes available? Uh, if we're just talking about medication as a whole, no. Because, hey, I need that heart medication. I need that insulin, whatever. Does it use a large portion of my income? Probably yes. So two out of the three are still telling me, however, that prescription medication is inelastic. All right, hopefully that makes sense. You do have some practice uh, on Canvas if uh, you need to practice some of this. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.